right, how you doing YouTube? Silver Joker here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. Okay, so I went down to my local coin store here. It wasn't a, a visit strictly to buy silver. It was another purpose I had of going down there and talking to Phil. Uh, and I'll share that with you guys. Kind of a boneheaded thing that I've done. And I'll let you guys see what that is. And I'll show you guys what I picked up. And I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about stacking silver. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. Before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know you still got time to send in your entry to the name the channel giveaway that me and Silver 5150 is doing. Uh, you still got time to do that. Send in your letter or whatever to my P.O. box or to his P.O. box, Silver 5150's P.O. box, and we'll get them counted. We're going to start counting on the 16th, and we're going to have five finalists for you guys to, uh, to uh, vote on on the 23rd. So you still got time to do that. All right, I also want to share with you guys a letter that I got from one of the subscribers to my channel. This letter comes from Christian Lucius. I think that's how you say your name. Uh, and he writes, um, just started stacking about eight months ago. I want to thank you for all your YouTube videos. God bless you, brother, and your family. And God bless you as well, <laughs> Christian. Uh, he also sent a, um, a uh, entry for the the um, contest that we're having to give away the name of the channel contest, which I won't share with you guys today out of fairness to uh, Christian. Uh, and also he says, here's a little something to add to your cash. Uh, and he sent me a gold back. <laughs> if you guys are not familiar with, with what gold backs are, they're, uh, they're actual currency in the state that they're issued in. And this one happens to come from Nevada. Um, and uh, what it is, is this, it is one two hundredth of an ounce of pure gold. And um, they're issued, like I said, by different states. And this one comes from Nevada. And, uh, and it's worth $5. So you can present this anywhere uh, in the state of Nevada. And um, it's worth five bucks. So thank you very much, Christian. I will add that to the stack, definitely. And, um, you know, be on the lookout because uh, I told you guys, if you uh, if I open one of your letters, one of my videos, I am going to send you a gift. So, Christian, you got a gift coming. So thank you very much. And just let you guys know, keep the postcards coming. Keep the letters coming to my P.O. box. Um, and uh, I'll read them. Uh, and, uh, you know, I might uh, put your uh, letter in one of my videos and if i do that you will definitely get a prize so anyway thank you uh thank you christian all right so you guys remember this right here this is the uh, five ounce uh, atb america the beautiful um hawaii volcano uh silver coin semi numismatic uh coin here and um i had it sent out phil sent it out uh, the uh, owner of Franklin Street Coin sent it out with the batch of stuff he had um, getting graded. So it, it came back MS69, beautiful, fantastic. I shared this with you guys. It really increased the value of this coin a lot uh, from just the um, the P standard coin that um, was issued. Putting it in this uh, slab did increase the value a lot. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. Yep, it's cracked. <laughs> I was moving some silver around and I dropped a 10 ounce uh, silver bar on it and uh, it cracked. It cracked it. And, um, you know, so ordinarily uh, it wouldn't really matter the condition of the case as long as it's got the um, hallmark on there. It's got the little the little hologram so you know that it's legit uh, that it came from um, PCGS and all that. But the fact that it's cracked where it's cracked at means that air can get to it. So it definitely will change the condition of the coin. So I have to send it out to get it redone. So I took it down to Phil and talked to him a little bit about getting it um, getting it re sent out and repackaged. Uh, now they won't grade it again, uh, but they definitely will put another uh, put another slab around it. They'll change the, um, the uh, tab up there, give it a new hallmark 
because I think there's something to do with their specific hallmarks that they give out. I think they're individualized. So they'll change all that and they'll put it in a new one. But, um, you know, just a boneheaded thing I've done. Uh, <laughs> you know, this this coin, you know, you guys know I don't really, I'm not really into the slab coins. Uh, and this one is really starting to um, be kind of a nuisance. I don't have a place to put it because it's so big inside the slab. It doesn't really fit into any of the things that I have. I can't put it with anything else. It's just a big slab coin uh, that I have in my safe. So, you know, something may happen with this particular coin right here in the future. Once I get it back and I get a new slab put on it and all that kind of stuff, something interesting may happen with this particular coin here. So you might want to stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's let me show you guys what I picked up uh, from Franklin Street coin. Okay, so today Phil had a lot of silver. Like I said in other videos, there's been kind of a, a shortage is way too strong a word really to use because it really hasn't been a shortage, but the variety and the volume that I'm used to is just not available lately. I used to could go into a coin store anywhere in Cincinnati and I could get pretty much whatever I wanted, uh, as much as I wanted. But now you pretty much got to buy whatever they have. And a lot of times uh, the silver that they have, especially at a local coin store, comes from people bringing silver in to sale. And that's uh, true with, with uh, Phil here as well. But he had a lot of silver today. So I bought um, I bought a good share of silver and I'll show that guys show that to you guys here in a few minutes. Uh, but the thing is, is you have to keep buying it. I mean, adjust your budget, whatever you got to do, adjust your budget because you only need to look around and see that there's definitely something in the air. Um, there's something that's, you know, that kind of gives you this air that you need to be a little bit more careful with your finances. Uh, I know I've seen where, where people are starting, households are starting to save more money than they were uh, prior to March. And you guys know what happened in March. Uh, so people are starting to save a little more. People are starting to be a little bit more conscious of spending and buying and that kind of thing. And so you still got to get what you need. I believe that you know, there's going to be another wave coming as far as uh, shortages of supplies like paper products and those kind of things. So you want to continue to still get those things. So don't overextend yourself by that. I mean, don't spend money that you're going to need or use for things that you got to use every day and then have to go back and sell your silver to purchase those things. So budget where you can definitely uh, put the silver in your stack comfortably. And keep in mind, you're not spending the money that you're uh, paying for silver. You're not spending. It's not going away like you would when you spend money for, let's say, groceries or, or gas. Those things are going to be gone, used up, over with. Well, when you spend your dollars for silver, that silver is going into your stack and it's still money. It's still value because you can still use that when you need to. So don't look at it that way. Don't look at it as spend the money when you purchase silver or invest in silver. Just see it as moving your money from a less safe uh, thing to a more safe thing. And uh, that's the best way I can put that. Um, and, you know, Phil had a, a, an abundance of it. So I bought a lot of it <laughs> and I'm going to buy more and I'm going to continue to buy. Now, you know, I know premiums are up, uh, but, you know, just adjust your budget where you can still buy it. I mean, you still got to buy it regardless of the premiums, because if you're stacking for the future, if you're stacking for financial security, if you're stacking to put your money someplace safe where you'll have it, that's free from, you know, the influence of inflation and those kind of things, you'll definitely want to put as much silver bullion as you can in your stack. Because what's the alternative? I mean, what do you, what do you have besides something that has intrinsic value, something that's going to have value beyond uh, the dollar, something that is widely accepted worldwide by everyone. I mean, an ounce of silver is the same in America as it is in Europe, as it is in Asia, as it is in Australia, South America, North America. The silver bullion is the same wherever you go, it's same value everywhere you go. You can't say that about government's currency. You know, you just look at the Zimbabwean dollar, like I said in our last podcast. So, so what's the alternative for silver? There really is none. I mean, I say silver specifically, but generally precious metals. You know, what's the alternative? 
you know. Okay, so I just want to remind you guys about our podcast that's coming up this weekend. This weekend, we're going to talk about the difference between stacking and prepping. And I'll tell you guys where I stand on that issue. I get a lot of comments from people asking me, which one am I? And we'll talk about that a little bit. So you guys are welcome to join us there. And remember, um, if you got to go outside, if you got to be around other people, wear a mask. It is that important. You not only protect yourself, you protect those around you. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe, ring that bell. You'll be notified as soon as I put out another video. And I'm on Instagram, still figuring it out. Still kind of a new medium to me right now. So if you guys like to go over there and leave me a couple of comments and look at some of the photos and the pictures there I've provided, I appreciate that. And, um, you know, let's just keep the silver train rolling. We're going to stack silver. Let's stack silver together. <laughs> let's do it together. You join my videos. I'm definitely going to try to motivate you to get out there and put that silver in your stack. And I'm sure all the silver stacking content providers here on YouTube have the same motivation. Get that silver in your stack. You know, if the premiums go up, adjust your budget so you can buy at the level you can buy at. But the most important thing is to get it and put it in your stack. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.